Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna look at what size heater you need for your pool, spa, or hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so what size heater do you need for your pool, spa, or hot tub? Well, it's a really good question, and it's one that I get asked an awful lot, so I thought I'd record a quick video here to explain how you can calculate what you actually need to buy. Now, I'm not gonna go into great detail on the different types of heater, whether it's you know electric, propane, gas, air source, that kind of thing. I'm gonna focus on the size of heater that you're actually going to need. Now, before I do, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts, and everything on this channel focuses on plunge pools, hot tubs, heating, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so heaters, size. Well, there's no real hard and fast rule for, you know, my swimming pool is 20,000 gallons, that means I need X heater. It's not really the way that you should be looking at things. And likewise for your hot tubs as well. It's, it, again, it's not, it's not the size that's important, it's about you and your usage and, and how you actually want to control the heat. So what do I mean? Well, for example, if during the week you drop the temperature of your hot tub down, I, I do myself because I don't have time to use it, and then at the weekend I bring it up to temperature, you know, how quick do you want to bring it up to temperature. You know, if you've got a holding temperature you know, in the mid 80s or maybe 30 degrees C and then you want to take it up to 100, 102 F or, or 38, 39 C, you know, how long do you want that to actually take? And this is the same for your swimming pools as well. You know, how long do you want the, the, the period of time to be going from you know, temperature A to temperature B, which is your, your usage temperature? Now, of course, the, the volume of the water in your pool, spa, or hot tub is, is obviously important here. So you, you do need to know that from the start. Now, the next thing you need to know is the power of the heater. Now, in terms of power, I actually mean the BTU output. So this is a British thermal unit. And even though it's British, uh, it's still the, the, the common way of measuring heat, even in the States as well. So uh, you need to know the BTU output of your heater. Now it can say that on the, on the side of it, it can say that in the specifications if you're looking at something online. It's not the kilowatt value that you're looking for, it's the, the, the BTU. Now of course it's totally possible to convert uh, kilowatts into BTU. It's uh, it's not a particularly complicated equation. And if you're a big fan of AI, uh, ChatGPT will actually do that for you. Although Google does a very good job as well. So once you have the the BTU output, you need to know then the, the going back to your usage. You know what temperature do you want to take it from and to, and in, in what period of time. So this this is how we're going to size it up. Now there are other methods out there that will take the the square footage of your uh, your pool or your spa, and that will give you the the BTU units. I don't like to use that method because it's really about your usage, and I keep coming back to this word usage because the whole idea is it's you know your pool your hot tub and it fits your usage so you've got to have a heater that's going to complement that now the calculations can get a, a little bit complicated so what I've done is I've actually had a calculator programmed up and you can see this in operation behind me here it's really really simple to use and it sits on my website and I'll put a link to that underneath this video and you can check it out. So when you head over there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in the, the volume of water. I've told you, you do need to know how big your pool, spa or hot tub actually is. And then you can play around with the, the different values. So the different BTU outputs from, from heaters. And I've put the ones in that are common. So a three kilowatt spa pack, a five and a half kilowatt spa pack, 12 kilowatt electric heater, and there's uh, the comfort line range of air source that I do over in Europe. There's the Hydra Royals that I do over in the States. They're all in there as well. And then you can actually select the different BTUs. You can 
put your input temperatures in both uh, either Celsius or Fahrenheit and it will then give you, when you hit the calculate button, a heating time going from temperature A to temperature B. And this will give you a really good indication of the size of heater that you should be looking for because it will suit your usage, back to that word again. Now, a couple of things on the outputs here. So these outputs, the, the, the time in hours and minutes, these are what I call lab numbers. And they're lab numbers because they don't take into account things like heat loss, they don't take into account ambient temperature, they don't take into account the, the insulation value of your pool or your, or your hot tub. So it's, it's really a, a, a guide number that you should go by, you know, Please don't take it as gospel that because it says your hot tub is going to heat up from you know A to B in three and a half hours, it's, it's going to exactly be that, but it gives you a really good guide to the size of heater that you should be looking at. So for a couple of real world numbers, you know, I plugged in the numbers from my own hot tub and it's pretty accurate to, to within about you know, 20 minutes or so of, uh, of actual heating time. So you know, as I said, it's lab numbers, but it will give you a really good indication of what size of heater that you actually need to fit your pool, spa or hot tub. But most of all, it's gonna match your usage. Again, that usage word. So. As always, I hope you found this short video useful. Please do check out the calculator. There's a link underneath this video. I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.